Good morning, everyone. We are here at, once again, the Food and Wine Festival, International Food and Wine Festival at Epcot. I am excited. This is rapidly becoming my favorite event at Disney, I have to say. The more we do it, the more I like it. And we are about to head in. We came in a little later today. It's a little crowded because last time we came in and you know, we had to wait a couple hours for the Food and Wine Festival to even start, so we figured we'd, we'd slide in once it was actually open today. And we are going to go to the right this time on the World Showcase. We always go to the left, and we decided we're going to go to the right because there's all kind of food when you go to the right that we haven't really been able to taste or sample because by the time we get there, we're so full that we just pass by it. So we're going to go to the right today. We're going to get some new food, try some new stuff get some new drinks, explore some new crevices in the World Showcase, so it's going to be awesome. I'm excited. Are you excited? Very. And I'm, I'm hungry. Excited. She's got her cute little Mickey ears on. They brought those. They, they got those back in stock. Got those in Magic Kingdom the other day. They light up at night. 50th anniversary years. Pretty cute. So yeah, we're going to have a blast. So stay tuned. Here we go. And look who's making an appearance at the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. Mickey and Minnie. Usually it's Goofy and Pluto over here. Huh. Well, I'll go to Mickey first. Give Mickey a little wave. Hi, Mickey. Hey, he wave to me. Here's Minnie. Hi, Minnie. She's so cute. So that escalated quickly, as you can imagine see Mickey and Minnie back there and this whole area was pretty empty until those two came out and then it got pretty crowded pretty quick but I did get some videos and some pictures with them so moving on well we figured we'd make a quick stop at Club Cool while we're here for food and wine why not there wasn't a very long line and I figured I was a little thirsty so why not jump on in all right let's hit the Beverly let's do Beverly's up if you come in here you have to try it even if you know not let's do it every time it's still just as bad. It's bad. It's bad. I'm going to do the China now. I'm, I'm not do doing a, China. I'm going to do a quick comparison. I'm not. Quick real world comparison here. Mm. Oh, I think it's starting to grow on me. No, it's not. Mm. Man, that is. It's horrible. It's literally it's terrible. so bad. Still not digging that barbecue flavor, I got to tell you. Barbecue sauce Let me give it another rip. Not, barbecue sauce should not be carbonated. It's I'm bad. drinking Moldova, which is the raspberry. <laughs> Let me get, I can get my favorite, my favorite watermelon. <laughs> oh, I need to get a napkin. He just smelled that all over his shit. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'll get a napkin, I promise. We'll clean it up. I think I'm just going to go with the banana. I don't even need to try the rest anymore. I'm just going to... I like this banana one. Yeah. I'm going to mix it with the watermelon. Put a little watermelon in that banana. See how that is. Well, that's pretty good. I'm trying raspberry and banana. Banana and watermelon together. It's good. The raspberry and banana is actually good. Yeah, I like this. I like it all. All right. All right. I'm done. I'm going to go get a napkin now and clean up this pop that I spilled. But it was good. On to the Food and Wine Festival. Oh, it looks like they have some new Food and Wine Festival merchandise with Beauty and the Beast on it. Uh, they didn't used to have this. They've had the Apple Orchard. They've had the Figment. Epcot Food and International Food and Wine Festival. But they haven't had the Beauty and the Beast. So now they have Beauty and the Beast uh, specific merchandise. So. It, it is. All right, I'm doing my bounce so you can tell I'm a little excited about our first food item. Um, and we got some drinks too, but I'm excited about this food item. Uh, it was $4.50 and it is the plant-based banana bread. So we'll see. I don't know about the plant-based part, but yeah. um, I think, I mean, banana bread. I like, love banana bread. Banana bread is like made out of plant stuff. So, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't know what the difference is. Maybe there's no egg or something. I don't know. Probably. But um, I'm excited. We got it at Shimmering Sips, which is right across there. $4.50. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. Uh, I think. And it looks delicious. It really does. And it's still kind of early and we haven't eaten anything and I'm hungry. I could do a little sweet something. So It has a little bit of a berry, com actually a lot Check of this berry out. compote on it. Look at this. Well, let me give you a shot of not just the berry compote. And look at this. I mean, oh, it looks so good. Anyway, uh, I don't know. I'm ready. I'm ready to dig in. Let's do it. Let's do it. <clears throat> dig in. I'm just going to do the, uh, I don't know, whipped cream or something here. It's good. Whipped cream's, whipped cream's kind of okay. It's, um, try the whipped cream. It's like, um, it's not very sugary. It's more like cream than sugar, yeah. but maybe but maybe it balances right with all the sweetness. So let me see what happens. The berry here. stuff is very good. Let's see the berry. Mm. Yeah, the berry mixed berry compote yeah. is actually pretty good, and it's not overly sweet either. Yeah. So we got two not overly sweet. Let me try the bread now. Separate. Hmm. Flavor's okay. I'm not loving the texture. And I like the texture. But, um, because it's kind of like crunchy, and I like... Mm, I don't know about crunchy. You might have got a different piece than I did. You think it's crunchy? Mine was like mushy. I felt like I was putting Mine mushy was... sand in my mouth. That's what it. That's what the texture tastes like. Let me, let me try it all together. I'm going to get like the edge. Look at this bite here. A little compote. A little cream bread yeah that part was mushy I had there was like a crust a sugary crust on the outside the first two bites I took of it and um, that part was like crunchier that must have been when I had I don't like it yeah I don't like it it's um, yeah the, the plant-based thing I think it's killing it something something I don't know maybe it's I don't hate it I don't like it it's not good I don't like it at all, actually, really. I kind of like it. I don't like it. I probably wouldn't get it again, but... I don't really like anything on it. I don't really like the cream, because it's, it's really just like whipping cream with no sweetness, which I don't know if people like that, but I don't. The compote, I think, is actually quality, but it's lacking sweetness as well for me. It's like just the sour, bitter compote. And then if the banana bread came through with a sugary flavor and balanced it all out, I think it would be solid. It doesn't. Um, it's, it's, uh, I don't know how to describe it other than it tastes like I'm eating, it, the texture is like I'm eating sand. <laughs> it's just mushy sand. And I'm guessing maybe that's because it's the plant-based, it's missing like, I don't know, egg or something yeah. that, that like, I don't know, whatever, whatever makes bread kind of airy and delicious this is like very dense sand so not not my favorite I mean but you like it I mean I wouldn't order it again but yeah I think it's dusty it's fine I'm not a fan I'm gonna put that down because I, I don't even gonna eat it anymore I don't, I don't like it but okay so let's move on let's move away from the banana bread and talk about the mimosa so why don't you talk about it well we got a mimosa flight um, it says it has tropical mimosa, key lime, and blood orange, which the blood orange sounds really good to me, but we wanted to try all of them, so we just got all three. They're just like little glasses. I don't know if you, I'm afraid to pick it up because I'm afraid I'm going to Yeah, here, let's it. just do them one at a time because, yeah, it, it's in like a, it's in actually a solid, here, I'll pick it up. It's in a solid, like, cardboard thing, so it's pretty safe. Like, a, you know, you see the cardboard, but like, the mimosa flight. Yeah. And what did you say they were? Tropical? Tropical. Wait, what is it? <laughs> Passion fruit and orange and guava? Yeah. Which one do you think that is? This one? I think... Or is this a blood orange? I think orange? this is the tropical. I'm pretty sure. Well, let's give them a rip. And then the other one was key lime. Yeah. Which sounds weird for a mimosa, that flavor. But And then blood orange. So, And this was $13. It's good. I'm not... I'm not I don't want to try it. You don't want it? No. I think it's really good, actually. I'm not a huge mimosa person. I don't like champagne. 
Yeah, and it's good. And I noticed uh, when I sat these down, and now that I'm drinking it, they are cold. The strawberry one I got over in, where did I get the strawberry one? France? I don't know. Where the long line is, where the slushy Somewhere is? Somewhere right um, over that direction. It was warm. The other day. It was fine, but it was warm. It was not chilled at all. Mm. Um, but th these are. Which so is do you think nice. that was the blood orange? No, that was. Or the actual pet? Try that other one. I think it was a tropical. Yeah, I think that's the tropical. Well, and the that's orange. the blood orange? Yeah. Okay. So, this like darker colored, like non-see-through one is, I think, yeah. the tropical. And then this is the blood orange. Let's show this one up closer. She thinks this they're is the blood orange. They're similar in taste, I must say. Yeah, they look, they look similar, like, but... Yeah. <clears throat> they're not that much different. They both have orange in them, so orange is kind of an overpowering flavor. The only other flavors is passion fruit and guava, which... Oh, passion fruit's kind of overpowering, too, so I don't know. Guava, I don't think so. Now I don't know. Now I think the darker one is the orange. <laughs> They're very similar. Like, look at them. I feel like this. I feel like this is maybe the tropical bit. I don't know. Yeah, I don't um, know. Try the try the key lime. The key lime just looks like champagne. They both have a very good flavor, though. Show that. Show that up there. It just looks like this champagne. Key lime? There's like a little bit of coloration to it. Yeah, it's sour. Is it? Yeah, it's sour. It's good. It tastes better than I thought. I didn't know if I would like key lime. But I do. Hmm. I just smell champagne. I smell a little bit of key lime, maybe. I taste a lot of key lime. I don't love key lime. I love lemon. Yeah, same. So I didn't know if I would like it, but it's actually good. It's sour. I, yeah. I don't think, I think you would like it. I mean, if it didn't have champagne, then you yeah. would like it. I'm good. I'm, I'm going to pass on these three. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, It's $13. There's a lot in here, actually. Yeah, there There's, is. I mean, this and is a decent amount. And they fill it up amount. to the Check very, very top. Like size-wise. Yeah, they were, they were... Yeah. They were tipping over, so you gotta be careful carrying them. But um, three of these. Yeah. Reason and 13 bucks. The simmering sips, don't be scared, because we have been. We walked, not scared, but we were like, oh, we don't want to wait in that line when we passed by it previously. Yeah, that. Because it's super, super that long. That line's always long. Always it's one long. of the longest yeah, lines, always. but we were in it, I feel like, less than five minutes, if that. Like, we were, yeah. it was very fast. It was like five, seven minutes for the whole line, plus getting the, 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 yeah. the food and stuff. So. Yeah. So. Overall. Stop at 13 bucks. Sips. 13 bucks, I think the mimosas is worth it. Definitely, Definitely give that it. a shot. <clears throat> I didn't even try them, and I can tell it's worth it because the amount of liquid you get, yeah. three different flavor profiles, I think it's good, especially in the morning, kind of, yeah. you know, early morning mimosa. Banana bread, hard pass for me. Uh, uh, steer clear. <laughs> there's a, uh, no. Nah. I think uh, there's there's better sweet options than that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I will say that it doesn't say that it's plant-based banana bread on the menu. It doesn't say that anywhere. It wasn't until I got the receipt and I saw yeah. it said plant-based, plant I was actually immediately disappointed um, <clears throat> because I had a feeling it was gonna be a little off, um, which is nothing wrong. I think, you know, if you're yeah. vegan, vegetarian, whatever, and you, you want plant-based, then I would say it's good. Like, it's yeah. worth it. I liked it. Don't pass it up if you are vegan vegetarian yeah. or just don't really aren't interested in uh, egg, egg products and things like that but for me um, you know how that it's just that texture it's very dense it's not like the lighter and banana, banana bread on itself is kind of dense but this is like way denser um, almost <clears throat> I don't know how to describe it like fudge and so it was a pass for me so oh, let's stop right. and get the flight <clears throat> two down shimmering sips moving on okay so we just finished eating the dusty banana bread. <laughs> it wasn't that dusty. <laughs> it was dusty. And so we were really close to the noodle place here and I was like, I'm just going to run over and get a noodle really quickly. So it's like a pho. Yeah, I've um, seen other people with it, but by the yeah. time we've seen it, we're like, we're oh my stuffed. gosh, I can't eat another so bite. We've and we love pho. Multiple times yeah. to get it and we're always like, I can't. So they actually yeah. have three different varieties, well, four different varieties of pho there because they have a like a vegetarian tofu one. Yeah. But um, they have like a spicy Vietnamese one. But the one I got was the pork, which I'm hoping is not super spicy. Yeah. Because you know me in spice. Um, and I'm not going to, I'm going to try to pronounce the name of this thing. I it's was like, you, that's not all gonna you. Go I'm well. not even going to try. <laughs> but it's char or cha sui pork udon. I don't know. C-H-A-R-S-I-U. I don't, I don't know. Don't I can't, know. I'm not good at those, <laughs> those words. Um, it says it's got mushrooms, bok choy, and a soy pickled egg. 
Uh, so I'm excited because I love udon, pho. It's bussin'. And it's big. This thing's too much. a lot. Get out, get out of the way, bug. Look at this thing. Look at, look at this. Look how big this is. Can you show like, that? I don't even think yeah. I can, like... Yeah, because I mean, doesn't want to spill it, but it is a it's lot. It's, like, packed with tons of noodles and sauce. Uh, sauce. Noodles and broth. <laughs> and there's a big, huge chunk of pork here. There's this pickled egg, egg yeah. which looks a little dodgy. Yeah, but I won't be trying that. <laughs> I'll be trying it because I like eggs and I like pickled stuff and soy. So I mean, hey, whatever. Um, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try the broth for. Oh, and this was five dollars and fifty cents. Like, it's huge. Yeah. I mean, this, this could be a big portion. You get like a cool little spoon of what you eat here. Some chopsticks. I mean, five fifty. You're hard pressed to find that anywhere. I'm gonna try the broth too. Yum. The broth is good. It's like it. It kind of just tastes like a beef, maybe beef or pork broth. Mm, I don't know. Yeah. It's it's good. It's not too salty. Um, I usually add a little bit of like soy sauce and sriracha and things like that into my pho, but um, this is good. You know, I didn't. I didn't even look to think if they see even they even had. Maybe they have sriracha packets up there. I don't know. I didn't even look. All right, let me let me give you a show of this uh, pickled egg here. Look at that. I don't think it's coming through very well, but I'm gonna try it. So. It's good. It just tastes like an egg. It doesn't even taste pickled or um, soy or anything. It just tastes like a, a hard-boiled egg. Mm. All right. Yeah. Yeah, it does not taste pickled at all. Here we go. <laughs> so this is like thinly, it looks like thinly kind of sliced, almost like bacon uh, slices of pork here. I'm gonna try that. He's fan he thinks he's fancy. Mm. And he's in cool and he's gonna use chopsticks. I'm not. No, I'm I got her for <laughs> and it comes with a spoon. Wow, the pork is good. A little bit of fat on there. I think they could have rendered it down, but a little bit, but they don't do that. You know, you just put it in the broth and it cooks and stuff. So mm. the pork was solid, though. I really liked it. I like um, the noodles a lot. They're salty. I will say that the pork is really thin and, and I feel like kind of fatty. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to try it. <laughs> you can kind of see it here. Yeah. And I, I mean, I think that's fine for like a soup and pho, but it's not personally my preference when it yeah. comes to pork. I would much rather it be, like I said, cooked, um, you know, firmer, you know, maybe run on the grill maybe or something and then put in. But, um, you know, I'm going to try some of the, I like the noodles. bok choy and the noodles here. Yeah, there's no graceful way to eat this. There's really not. You know, so you just, I just do the, you know, whatever. Please use the My Disney Experience app or request the assistance of a cast member. It's good. I could use sriracha. Yeah. Because when I eat pho, my pho is like r dark red. Even for me. So much. And I don't like spiciness. But it needs spice. Mm. But I like it. It just needs spice. All right. So she, we just paused the video. She actually ran over there to see if they had any sriracha or soy sauce or anything like that. It was a no go. No. Unfortunately. So. I will say, I think the this udon, this pho, I don't really know, is there a difference? I don't know. I don't really I don't know what the difference, what I, I thought udon I've was just like noodles it. and this has broth in it, so yeah. to me it was, it just looks like pho, I don't yeah. know. Maybe it's just a different noodle type? Yeah. Somebody tell us in the comments because we're tools apparently. <laughs> but. It's probably a different noodle type. Um, but. They didn't have any sriracha, so for me, yeah. um, even though I don't like spicy stuff, I feel like it needed a little oh, bit yeah. of spiciness to it. Um, so, uh, and and that they do have a spicy uh, beef version, so maybe which I could have gone with, but I was afraid because spicy, and then yeah. I can't really control the level of spice. So we went with this one first. But I think the next time we come, I think I am gonna give the spicy version a try. Um, although the beef did look red, like almost like roast beef. So I know she won't eat anything that looks like the meat has been undercooked or not cooked, even though. Oh. The, the meat cooks in the broth like it when I looked up there it was red so I don't know maybe that was something different so we'll yeah. find out but overall I'm just gonna give it another taste here because yeah. I, I did um, like it the noodles kind of have a weird texture do you think they're kind of pasty yeah a little pasty and I don't know if that's because it's udon maybe it's supposed to be that way I don't know um, the noodles are a little pasty but overall the flavor is pretty good and um, yeah. The broth is good. I like the broth. And you get a lot of it. 
I wouldn't get it again because I would need it. I want it to be spicy. Yeah, I probably wouldn't get this again yeah. either because it was not spicy. How much was it? Five fifty though. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a lot actually, of food. Yeah, that's a good price for how big it is. Overall, pretty decent. I think we're gonna try a different one next time. Uh, maybe that would be one that I would get again. But I think this one is just decent, worth five fifty. I think if you like this kind of dish, um, but I probably wouldn't get it. So yeah, overall decent dish. Once again, we had so much fun at the Epcot Food and Wine Festival that we have to split this episode into two parts. Like, we did way too much. Like, we just kept going. And we started out today with, like, shimmering sips uh, and some of the awesome drinks that were there. That was really good. The banana bread, not so good. Um, and then we did the uh, noodle, the sort of the noodle bowl, the udon, uh, the pho, whatever you want to call it. And it was great. But, like, we, we did so much in one day that like we've got to split this up so it was a great day uh first half of the day got some good food stay tuned tomorrow where we release the second part of this episode we're gonna hit morocco we're gonna hit up the apple orchard in canada which is a really cool place like you don't want to miss it like there's some really awesome like desserts and food in there and some amazing drinks and the ambiance is awesome so you want to you want to tune in tomorrow trust me there's some really cool stuff that you don't want to miss uh that we get to try um, to finish out our day at Epcot Food and Wine Festival. Thanks for joining us. Tune in tomorrow. It's going to be great. The noble way is the easy way.